Hello and welcome to the review of Rocco CD Railjet set number 64111 plus one additional economy class car and Rocco made matching Taurus 73489. And a couple of important informations before we go to the overview of the entire set straight out of the box. The leading car, the control car, is coming equipped with front of the train lights, uh, both red and white. Inside, somewhere here in the front part of the of the model, there is a small circuit board with 16-pin functional decoder interface. And straight out of the box, the model is equipped with a board which will let you use the model on a DC analog typical setup. And you will have the red and uh, white lights uh, changing the direction according to the direction. If you have a setup powered by a DCC or a digital system, the first thing you have to do is to replace the, the board with a functional decoder. There's two decoders mentioned in the pamphlet from uh, Rocco. Uh, in my case, I installed the Zemo 685 16P functional decoder with four outputs. And once you have the functional decoder installed, you have the ability of turning the lights on and off. The second function is also a switching between the low and high beams. As you can see, there's four sets of LEDs in, in the lights, one on the bottom, one on the top. And of course, change of a direction. Once you have the decoder installed, you can also change the intensity of the lights when you're switching between the high and low beams. The power is supplied from all eight wheels here in the front car thanks to the split axle insulated wheel sets and I'll show them in a little bit more details later on. The starter set 64111 is a four pack set and consists of the leading car which is the control car The first car is a split, half business, half first class. The second car is part first class and the restaurant car. Third car is an economy. Fourth car in my set is additional uh, car which are purchased separately and the catalog number is 6411B. And the last car is the transition car and car of the train, which is also the transition between the locomotive and end of the train. And uh, of course, the Last but not least, uh, beautifully crafted and executed uh, Taurus 1216. And as expected from Rocco, first class paint job, fantastic markings, very crisp prints. As per industry standard, every car is coming with a small sachet full of uh, small parts and details. In case of the leading car, there's of course a set of windshield wipers which I haven't installed yet. There are small openings here. There's also a replacement front plow. This one is the one that I replaced already. The one that is coming out of the box is with a cutout here which allows you to install the additional coupler at the front of the train if you decide to run multiple units which in my case is not what I'm going to do it's very very easy to and intuitive to remove it's just simply pull and uh, and uh, plug in the new one dark tinted uh, windows you can't pretty much see the interior of the cars unless you take the advantage of the remaining functional outputs on the decoder and in my case I wired the whole set and use the function tree to turn on and off the lights inside the car.
One important uh, feature of, of this set is the connection between all the units, the cars as well as the last car and, uh, and the locomotive. This is semi-permanent connection. Rocco used the standard sockets for couplers, however, the height of the sockets is not standard. It's lower than normal locomotives and normal height level, so you won't be able most likely uh, to connect the cars with any other uh, cars unless uh, you have some type of a transition. There's a semi-permanent piece that snaps into both sockets and that delivers this very nice and tight connection and of course great reliability in both push and pull uh, operation. Unfortunately one important thing to know is that if you don't have permanent setup and you are planning to have this train boxed and unboxed often that may be a deciding factor for you. I will show later on the details and how the, uh, how the connection is, is design. Another interesting and a little bit surprising, perhaps even controversial feature of this set is the connection between the last car and uh, the locomotive. As you can see there is a step down adapter. Again, it's a permanent connection. I hope you can see it right here. This is the standard height of the coupler uh, socket for a locomotive, however the cars don't have the same height of the coupler. So pretty much uh, once you set this whole set on the layout uh, is a permanent connection. It performs fantastic, it keeps the cars uh, uh, coupled close and there's absolutely no issues with this connection both pull and push uh, direction. However one thing to watch for if you are thinking about using different brand locomotive or a uh, different brand of couplers you're gonna have a, some a little bit of an issue here uh, matching the height of the couplers and that's a little bit of the matching 1216 class uh, Taurus by Rocco, catalog number 73498, fantastic looking model. I have s Lux sound decoder <coughs> installed in my Taurus with a 1216 Austrian Taurus uh, sound file and I will present some of the sound qualities. The only disappointment I have with the uh, with the Taurus is the fact that Rocco used the 8-pin old-style decoder interface between the decoder and board of the locomotive and in effect uh, you have a situation where whether you like it or not but the back lights of the locomotive are operating as soon as you turn the lights on depends on the direction you have either red or white and there is no way of reprogramming due to the limitation of the interface uh, with only 8 pins. In order to better illustrate the potential complexity related to uh, taking the train apart or coupling and uncoupling, I decided to fold the train on the side uh, using an extra pair of hands to help me out and a white cloth to protect the paint. And you can see here the permanent connection. This is the piece here sticking on the other side. And I remove one of them so you can see it. This is the standard European uh, permanent connector you cannot uncouple, it just snaps into that socket on uh, both sides. 
Again, it works really well from operational standpoint of view, but if you decide to remove the train off the tracks and uh, box, uh, you'll have to be very careful how you uh, fold the whole train and how you move the train to the side and how you're going to access this piece. I use the small tweezers um, or um, uh, small uh, pliers will work. You have to be really careful not to damage the whole area here. Since we have the train on the side, you can also see this is the first uh, car, this is the control car, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, split axle wheel sets with insulators right here in between, and then you have uh, pickups uh, picking up from all four wheels, and the same situation is on the other end of the car. A different view on the connection between the towers, the locomotive, and the last car. You can see clearly here the step down connector between the locomotive and the last car. Again, same uh, connection as between the rest of the cars with the snap-in piece on both ends. Uh, again, you have to be very careful disconnecting the engine from the rest of the train. A couple of the standard Rocco uh, couplers between the cars just if, uh, in case if you insist on installing uh, the standard couplers. The gap between the cars is about 16 millimeters, uh, so pretty much unacceptable. The wires you can see between the cars, this is not something that is coming with, with the set, this is my conversion, I wired all the interior lights to the functional decoder. Okay, in conclusion, uh, very nice looking set, I would definitely recommend uh, these models for anyone who is serious about the model railroading. A couple of things to keep in mind is, uh, number one, the permanent connection uh, between the cars, so if you are planning to dismantle the train often, that may be an issue and you have to be very careful how you uh, disconnect the cars and how you deal with the, uh, with the couplers. And, and the second one is uh, the matching Taurus from Rocco with only 8 pins. The color interface, that's a little bit uh, disappointing, especially considering that the uh, leading car or the control car is coming with a 16-pin functional decoder plug.